Echidnas, sometimes known as spiny anteaters, are quill-covered monotremes belonging to the family Tachyglossidae. The four extant species of Echidnas and the Platypus are the only living mammals that lay eggs and the only surviving members of the order Monotremata. Sometimes called the spiny anteater, the short-beaked Echidna, pronounced Echidnu, measures 30 to 45 centimeters long and weighs 2 to 5 kilograms. Although it resembles a porcupine or hedgehog, closer inspection of the echidna reveals some of the animal's more unusual traits. Spiny anteaters, are walking contradictions. They are mammals, but they lay eggs. They are often classified as long or short beaked, but don't have beaks at all. In the traditional sense they have fleshy noses that can be either on the long side or rather short. The female give birth to a single, sticky egg in a specially formed a pouch, called the incubatorium, where it hatches 7 to 10 days later. The pouch is not permanent and only develops once the egg has been fertilized. The egg is leathery unlike a bird's egg. A small organ located on the hind legs of the male gave the spiny anteaters their name of echidna, which means adder, because it is connected to a poison gland. However, the fluid is not really very poisonous, and the animals are more likely to try to escape by digging when in danger. Spiny anteaters are most active at night, except when the weather is cold. The spiny anteater has a good sense of smell and is also known as the short-nosed echidna. It can easily demolish a termite mound in an attempt to reach its favorite food. It mostly eats termite ants and other small invertebrates, which it grinds up in its mouth with specially adapted spines instead of teeth. Anteaters feed almost exclusively on ants and termites, whose nests they rip open with their powerful forelimbs and claws, and then ingest with their sticky tongue. They only consume about 140 insects from each mound during a single feeding. Short-beaked echidnas are cute enough that zoos want them and some people want them as household pets. But with their highly specific diet, digging behavior, and potentially long life spans and up to nearly 60 years so they don't make good pets, it's not known how many short-beaked echidnas are in the wild. Thank you.